Uh, today we're going to go over burr change and also clunk crusher change on the Mythos Basic. Uh, so the Mythos Basic comes with a steel burr, uh, not a titanium coated burr. Uh, it will last about 1,500 pounds. You can put the titanium coated burr in there. Uh, and of course, then you'll get around 3,500 to 4,000 pounds out of it uh, or so. But either way, uh, changing them is going to be the same and we'll go over cleaning while we're changing everything. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll go ahead and have the machine, this machine's already unplugged. Your main on off is down here. Go ahead and shut our beans off by pulling our slide over. So that's open, that is closed. Just lift that straight up and out. The tools we're going to need are going to be the shop vac. We're going to need a number one Phillips, a number two Phillips, preferably a long extension. Uh, a pick, a uh, 20 millimeter, and a 17 millimeter. So the first thing we want to do is vacuum out all the rest of the beans. Out. take our number two Phillips and there's four screws that we're going to take out. One, two, three, and four. You can pull this forward. Be careful of the ribbon cable that you don't pull on it too hard and pull it out of the board inside here. Obviously, when you're taking out screws, you want to avoid having a trash can nearby because they always tend to find the trash can. And then you're digging screws out of the trash can. So now we're going to want to go ahead and vacuum out the rest. And we also are also going to need a flathead. I forgot to mention that. So is this a top burr? Yep, this is the top burr. Is this a steel or titanium? These are steel burrs that are in here. And of course, this is a a brand new grinder, so we're really not going to change the burrs, but we're going to go through all the motions. So with a cloth, you just want to wipe the surface and clean inside the throat area where the beans are going to be going down. Um, you will see when the grinder's been used a lot, you'll see a lot of buildup in here of the coffee oils. So you want to make sure you get all that wiped. And of course, your, your surface area for where the burr is going to go is clean. But you're not using any type of cleaner? No, no cleaners. Okay. Typically, cleaners won't be needed. It'll just wipe right off. Okay. Of course, once you have that clean, when you get the burrs, uh, they can be put in either position 
they're they're not specific to top, top or, bottom. or bottom. So how tightly do you secure these? Or? I I try to do everything kind of evenly first. I just get it to where it's barely making okay. contact. And then I go around and just snug them up. And then I'll go a little tight, but you don't want to go super tight. Uh, there's no point in trying to bend the metal. <laughs> right. So that's the top. So that's our top. So our bottom. We're going to actually take the, the uh, rotating burr holder out. This is a reverse thread. So we're actually going to go in the direction you would think you would be tightening something. And I do recommend taking these out or taking these apart about every 20 hours and cleaning underneath. You'll find that your clunk crusher will probably only last 20 hours of grind time. And this will pull out. You'll see that this is slotted right there. And of course there is a slot right down there. That flat side right there. So we're just wanting to clean out any buildup in here you know, around here. And of course there will be buildup on here, although this here again, this is a new grinder, it's hardly been used. You have to be really careful though, don't you, from? Yeah, you're trying not, you don't want to scratch the surfaces, so if you have a brush or something that is just got nylon bristles on it, you can use that to clean everything up. What the reason, Oh, I'm the sorry. The reason we're cleaning this is you'll get buildup on the bottom of this. The adjustment on this grinder is actually the bottom burr is going up and down. You know, so when you're going finer, it's going up. When you're going coarser, it's going down. Well, of course, when you get a lot of buildup underneath here and you're trying to go down, it's not going down like it should. Gotcha. So you really so, want that clean. So you do want this clean. Okay. And of course, to replace the burrs on this bottom piece. It's kind of the same motions. It's the same motions. This is a, a really kind of a money saving um, thing to do because if you can maintain your own grinder. Yes. Um, you don't need a service uh, technician to come out and you have to pay the travel and labor. Yep, so it, is, it nice. is not that difficult to do. And it's just a matter of making sure everything's clean is the main thing, what we're doing, besides putting new burrs on. We're just cleaning up all of our surfaces from any buildup. So, now of course, if you use the titanium coated one, you're going to change your burrs a lot less often. It's roughly around a hundred hours on the grinder time which you can go into programming and see how, how many hours the grinder has run. So you change your burrs, you you um, document the time yep. somewhere and then yep. check it periodically. What is about 100 hours on a, a machine? So 100 hours, here again, it all depends on the coffee and how you have everything set up. But 100 hours is roughly around 4,000 pounds. 30, it could be 3,500 to 4,500 pounds. 
So what is what is the sign of a uh, grinder needing burr change? Uh, lots of adjustments in your grind. Okay. You're constantly chasing the grind. Okay. Uh, you just notice a very inconsistent grind coming out. Okay. Because instead of grinding, we're just pulverizing the you. bean. So that's when it gets very inaccurate. do now is line up our slots together so the slot right here the slots on this side I hope they can see that uh, flats I can see it from here but it's right there yeah okay perfect thanks you will know that you don't have this in correctly because it will sit high see okay. how this is setting high yeah see it should sit down there if you miss the slot, it's not going to go down. It's going to sit very high. You see that you're above that groove. And just here again, remember that this is a reverse thread going on here. Yeah, because this is slotted, there is no reason to be super tight on that will self-tighten itself. Awesome. Okay, and then we can go ahead and Oops, I missed. Let me get this one started first. And again, it's just kind of um yeah, you're, do, you're gonna do so you're not tightening these up and you're actually putting the screws in opposite. Gotcha, okay. But you didn't take them out that way. No, you can take them out any way you want. Okay. So once I have these two snugged, I can go ahead and tighten them and then I can get the others on there. So once you have the two um, uh, diagonals uh, yes. in, you can snug them up. Yep. Gotcha. you can go ahead and close this. Uh, the other thing you're going to change more often is the clump crusher. So this on on the Mythos Basic you can change the clump crusher with the burrs assembly in place. But you can't if you own the plus or the... Uh, um... If you own the plus, um, well it's just the plus has the tamper and the tamper will be in the, in the way. way. Okay. So you have to remove that the whole head assembly. What about the Claimer Pro? Claimer Pro, you can get at it without removing okay, anything. Okay, it's just the tamper, the, yeah. the Mythos Plus. Okay. So we're just going to take our cover plate off. And of course, you'll want to wipe that clean. And then usually you'll have to vacuum and clean all of this out and maybe get your pick in here to, to get any buildup out of this, the Phillips screw head. Okay. And then of course you'll go in This will pull out. So you'll want to clean your slide. And with your new clump crusher, of course we're reusing the old one, you'll want to get it all centered. This hole necessarily won't be, it might sit up a little bit but you want to pre-wrap the fingers or teeth 
around to kind of break them in. This one's already broken in. Now, what if what happens if you don't break those teeth in? If you don't break them in, you might get too much hold back. Oh. And when you go, when you're grinding, it'll the grinder will start binding and may stop grinding at all. Because the teeth is what breaks up the, yeah. the clumps. So this is, the, yeah, so okay. this is a clump crusher, so it has two functions. It, it, it'll break apart um, the, the grind as it comes through. And it also is a, a little bit of a restrictor. Right. You know, sure. and that'll keep it from spraying everywhere too. Okay. So a, shot, a sign that this is due to be changed is if you're getting a lot of grounds that are spraying everywhere. Okay. You'll probably find that one or two of these, these um, teeth or fingers are, are bent, completely okay. bent or missing. It's interesting that such a small, tiny item could be yeah. so um, helpful. So once you have these bent going forward a little bit, then you can reinsert this into place and then of course then you're going to take your screw and just make sure you do not cross thread into that would be my biggest concern is is people accidentally cross threading the screw into the into the base plate. And then put your cover plate back on. And of course, after you have this already there, you just wanna make sure all the teeth are, are forward, that none of them are backed up into the grinder. And if they are, you wanna grab your pick or your screwdriver and just make sure everything's forward there.